When teaching some sports such as badminton, volleyball, short tennis or sitting volleyball in a sports hall, one of the problems is trying to find enough net space so that each pupil can have access to a net to practice their skills. What English Volleyball has done is to work with the University of East Anglia Sports Park and Universal Services, a sports good manufacturer, to develop a completely new product which will solve that problem. What we have are two wall-mounted posts which are padded and you can adjust the height so it goes from men's volleyball through to women's volleyball, schools volleyball, badminton, short tennis and sitting volleyball with a net which runs the whole length of the hall. Now teachers can use existing markings such as the badminton courts or they can mark out individual court spaces just with a piece of tape or a band on the net itself. The net is a lightweight net specially developed so that it's easy to put up without causing too much strain. The system consists of two posts, one at each end. The posts hang on a plate on the wall and fit in to a little slot in the floor. They're padded so that all times everybody's protected. Having closed with these velcro straps, and the padding is actually attached to the posts so that they won't come off and it's safe at all times. The post is made of lightweight aluminium. It's got a central slider which goes up and down and can be adjusted for men's volleyball, women's volleyball, school's volleyball, badminton, short tennis and sitting volleyball. And the marks are shown on the side of the height you need to be. This is a dummy end, so we will put the loop from the head wire into this end, and then at the other end, which you'll see in a moment, has got the tension on. The posts are very light, easy to move, and be taken away if you don't want to keep them in the sports hall. The bracket that they hang on is about 2 meters 50, so it's way up of reach for all the people playing other activities in the sports hall. Two bolts into the wall, and then at the bottom, we have a base plate which is cut into the floor. It's not very deep, so the pin at the bottom of the post will just locate into there. Now this floor has got underfloor heating, and this has not interfered with that at all, so it will fit into all floors. So the posts just come out of the stores, hang on the wall, slot into there, and it's ready to go. If you don't want to leave them in place, they're quite easy to move. So we're now just going to have a look at the other end where we've got the tension arm and the rectal net so you can see how it works. Now this is the tension end. So on this end we've got a tension device where you'd hook the end of this chain and pull this down. So what we do is we start off by always putting a net on at a low height, one that we can manage at, connect the net up, we can adjust it afterwards. So we take the other end of the net, we clip it on, we use the chain to pull the tension down, then we put the tension arm into one of the links and by pulling that down we actually tension the net up. So we secure the net, tension it, tie off the ends, put the velcro strap around to secure the padding, to make sure everything is safe. So well, now we're ready to go. Now this, babbit, this is set at Babington like there. But it's not a bad net because it has to be for more than one sport, it has to be lightweight. So it's a four inch mesh, which is fine for volleyball. Not the full depth because that's weight we have to lift up and keep supported. You could have a badminton net, a long one made especially, but this is a barrier between the two halves of the badminton court. So over the length of the net we can just check and see. It's a badminton post here. So we've got the net at the end of two courts at badminton height. Now every net will sag over the length, so we support it in the middle with this very simple post. It's got an adjustable slider on it to set to the right height. And we just hook the net over. That keeps it, so we need to go up a little bit more to the badminton net. So now we're at badminton height.
heat tension on the net. This is stable and safe. So we've got four badminton courts, and this of course could be a height for volleyball, sitting volleyball, or short tennis.